Today we're going to do spin drawing and spin painting with a spin art machine. You can also do spin drawing and spin painting other ways, but today we're going to use a spin art machine. The one we're using is an Alex Fantastic Spinner. There are also other spin art machines for kids on the market. Let's gather our materials. The materials you'll need are the spin art machine, and paper cut to fit, markers for spin drawing, and watered down paint in squeeze bottles for spin painting. Let's create. To do spin drawing, place a piece of paper in the spin art machine, and then simply pump the handle on the spin art machine to get the paper spinning and set the marker tip to the paper. As the paper spins, the marker will stay in place, but will make a circle on the paper. And it will continue to make circles. You can move your marker inward or outward, and it will make progressively smaller or larger concentric circles. You can keep the paper spinning by pumping the handle on the spin art machine and add a different color of marker. You can, you can use as many different colors as you like. You can make the marker drawing as filled in or as um, loose as you like. And when you're ready, you can stop the spin art machine and remove your piece of paper and start a new one. You can make as many spin art marker drawings as you like. To make a spin painting with a spin art machine, you will also put a piece of paper in the spin art machine and pump the handle with your hand. And as the paper is spinning, squeeze a drop or two of paint onto the center of the paper. And watch as the centrifugal force of the pumping action causes the paint to splatter out to the sides of the paper. You can continue adding more paint, more colors, to the spin art painting, and you can stop at any time and make a new painting at any time. Our spin art machine comes with some paper and some paint in squeeze bottles. We usually run out of it fairly quickly, and then we just cut our own paper to fit. And we also just put refill the squeeze bottles or uh, fill other squeeze bottles with paint to keep going. You can buy replacements, however, we find it easier just to, to refill the squeeze bottles with our own paint. And what we'd use is tempera paint and water it down a little bit so it's a little thinner and easier to squeeze out. I hope you enjoyed this art activity. Share it or display it. Some of the ways we like to um, share or display our spin art, our spin drawings and our spin paintings are to use them for cards, to make note cards with them by gluing them to blank note cards or folded over pieces of paper. We also like to create buntings with them. You can use washi tape to attach the paintings to yarn, or you can punch holes in the top two edges of the paintings or drawings and string yarn through. You can also frame or gift spin drawings and spin paintings, or you can mount a selection of your favorites on a piece of poster board for display. <laughs> 